In this coding exercise, we are working with hashes, and specifically we're working with hashes that have nested arrays. So in this example, we're asked to build a menu and have a daily special picker. With the menus right here, we have a list of restaurant appetizers, entrees, and desserts. Each one of these contains its own nested array. So appetizers has chips, quesadillas, and flatbread. Entrees has steak, chicken, and lobster. Desserts are cheesecake, cake, and cupcakes. So our daily special is expected to take in a menu. So it's supposed to take in a hash, and then it needs to output a single item. It needs to output one of these items. So essentially what has to happen is we need to be able to combine each of these. So we need to be able to say all of the items inside of appetizers, entrees, and desserts needs to be merged together and then we need to run a randomization algorithm on them so we can pick out just a single one. The test case for this isn't really comprehensive because it can be pretty challenging to and time consuming to create some type of test of a random value. So essentially all it's doing is testing to make sure that a single item is produced by running the method and that it is equal to a string. So in other words, daily special can't return an array or a hash or an integer or anything like that only a string. So there's a few different approaches we could take to this. One would be you know, iterating over the entire collection and then iterating over the nested items and then going and picking a random item. And we're kind of gonna do something like that. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a array, an empty array called menu items because I want some type of collection that I can use to store each of these items. Now inside of this or right below it I'm going to take the hash which is our argument so there's nothing special about the word it's just the argument and I'm going to say hash dot map so I'm going to use the enumerator map to iterate over the collection of items and because map is an iterator and it has the ability to take in both the the full hash value then we can decipher what we want from that point so if i have map here i'm going to pass in a block variable called category and then i'm going to pipe in all of the items so i'm going to say menu items and I'm gonna use the shovel, shovel operator and say that I want the category dot last to be shoveled into that. Now, if you're curious on what this is, let's actually kind of take a little bit more of a look at it here and see what's created. I'll pass in menu instead of hash because that's the real data that we're dealing with, this menu right here on line three. So let's see at what kind of stage we're at right now, where we have menu, we're mapping over it, and from there we're iterating through, we're gonna be grabbing a category. Now a category I'm looking at as being like a appetizer, an entree, or dessert. You could call it whatever you want. Category kind of makes the most sense to me here. And then with each iteration, we're saying, send into our menu items array, and I also have to create that here. So menu items, send into the menu items array category last. Now, this part may not be the most intuitive if you have not used this kind of uh, design pattern before, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm saying with each iteration, so the first time through, it's going to grab everything here. Then it's going to grab everything here, and then it's gonna grab everything here. Now, with the way that this works, the way that map works is kind of interesting because as this iterates, it's actually going to pipe in each one of these items and it's going to treat appetizers like it is a single array 
of two elements. Then it's going to treat entrees like a single array of two elements, and then desserts like a single array of two elements. So with that in mind, what we can do is grab the last element, which is actually the array. So let's see what this looks like. If I run this, you can see here that what menu map is going to return is ch chips and quesadilla, which if you notice is our appetizer. Then it's going to return steak, chicken, and lobster, which is our set of entrees, and then cheesecake, cake, and cupcakes. So that's pretty cool. That's actually giving us exactly what we need. So we have effectively parsed through this menu. We've taken each of the secondary elements. So we're skipping over this. If I were to say map and then go through it and say category first, then we would be left with an array of just the main titles. So appetizers, entrees, and desserts. But that's not what we want. We want the other item. So that's going to give us our array. Now, after that, though, there we have one little issue, and that is that right here we have three arrays. It's going to return three of them, one for appetizers, another for entree, another for dessert. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten it. So I'm going to flatten the array. So at this stage, it's going to be a single array. As you can see right there, it's no longer three arrays. Now it's a single array, and it's going to be full of nine elements. And from that point, I can then simply call sample. And what sample is, is sample is a way of randomly going in and picking out an element from an array. So if I run this, you can see that this works perfectly and it outputs chicken. Now if I run it again, next time it's cheesecake, run it again, and now it's steak. So it is going to randomly go through and pick out each of these items. So I'm gonna delete our test cases here and add them up to the top. So I'm gonna say flatten and sample. So now this should do exactly what we're looking for. Let's run the test and see if a string is returned. Let's say January the 7th. And that worked, one example, zero failures. So that's how you can grab random elements out of a set of nested hash arrays.